In this video, we look at independent and dependent variables, and then plotting the values of these variables onto a scatter plot or a scatter diagram. And this is the introductory video to a subtopic called bivariate statistics, which is part of topic four in the AI course. Now, bivariate statistics, think by uh, in terms of a bicycle having two wheels, bivariate statistics means we now have two variables. So up until now, you may have encountered questions that has one variable, such as say, the number of students in a room, or the amount of money in a bank account, or the amount of marbles in a bag. That's all just one variable. We now encounter questions that have two variables. Now when we have two variable statistics, one of the variables is known as the independent variable, which we usually call X, and the other is called the dependent variable, which we call Y. Other names for these two variables include uh, the independent variable is sometimes known as the input variable and the, the dependent variable is sometimes known as the output variable. So we have inputs and we have outputs. Now the questions that you should be posing to yourself whenever you encounter a question like this is, is there a relationship between the two variables? Or another way to think about it is, does the independent variable or the input variable influence the dependent variable. And a classic sort of example of this is say the height of a growing child. So does this child's height, is it influenced by their age? And that's a very common example because clearly it is. As a child gets older, their height increases. So their height is influenced by their age. So that's a good example of bivariate statistics. Okay, let's have a look at this example here on the right hand side. I'm going to talk through the two variables here, how to think about them, and then plot these values onto the scatter diagram and see if we can see a relationship or a trend between the two. So in this example here, we have the eight, we have eight scores of eight teachers who were evaluated by some sort of independent panel. So let's say a, a panel of principals or or um, independent education experts. So we have the teachers experience in years. So for example, this first teacher had been teaching for 5.6 years and their associated teacher performance score. So in this case here, this first teacher had a score of 79 and these scores are out of 100. So again, the questions that you should be asking yourself is, is there a relationship between the two variables? So in the context of this example, does a teacher's performance score, is that influenced by how long they have been teaching for? And you would probably think yes. You know, a teacher that just started may not have uh, may not fully kind of understand how to teach a certain concept well. They might not have a good grasp on how to control a room or to how to keep students motivated. But over time, you would think that teachers would get better at that. So over time, their teacher performance score should increase as their number of years increases, probably up to a certain point. I would say that once a teacher gets to say 10 or 15 years, they probably mastered their craft and then maybe that trend would stop. But particularly in the early years, say the first five or 10 years, you would think that there would be a relationship. And this second question here, does the independent variable influence the dependent variable? Then I would think it would. I would think that the, the, the number of years they had been teaching for would indeed influence the performance score. But let's see that by plotting these eight points onto our scatter diagram and see if we can notice a relationship or a trend between the two. Okay, so this first coordinate here, actually before we get into the coordinates, let's just talk the talk about the axes. The independent variable will always get the horizontal or the x-axis. So you can see here that um, I have determined that the teaching experience is the independent variable. That's independent of any other factor, but the performance score will depend on it. So the teaching experience in years gets the horizontal axis, this x-axis, and the teacher performance score gets the vertical axis, the y-axis. It's always independent on the x, dependent on the y. So this first coordinate here, we go to 5.6 on the years axis, so that's about here. I won't be too exact, I'll just do it roughly. And then up to 79 on the y, so that's up to about here. Okay, let's do the second coordinate now. 7.2 on the year, so about here, and then 85 on the Y. Okay, I'm just gonna pause the video now and, 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 and plot the remaining six data points. Okay, so there are the eight data points there. 
Now, the question to ask yourself is, can I observe a trend here? And in the later videos, we'll go into, well, how do we actually measure an exact value of that trend or that the proper word is correlation. But right now, just think, hmm, can I observe a trend? And I think that I can. I think that there is a trend going from low left to high right. Or if I was to draw a line that kind of best describes the trend, which we call the line of best fit, it would look something like this, perhaps. And what this line represents is, as the number of years that a teacher has been teaching increases, the trend does show that their associated performance score also increases. Okay, so that's a quick introductory video on how to think about these two types of variables in two variable statistics or bivariate statistics questions. In the next video, we're going to look at how do we actually measure the strength of the relationship, and that's called correlation. And in the video after that, it's about actually determining the, equ the equation of this line of best fit line, which we call the line of regression equation. But let's get into that in future videos.